In this video we show you how to set up Python with Flask and MongoDB. The first thing you need to do is check if you already have Python installed in your computers. Therefore, go to the terminal and just type py and in my system I don't have it, so we need to install Python. To do that, let's go to the browser and let's search for Python. In this case, I will choose python.org. I'm going to download the latest version. It's 3.8.2. Click on download. And once it's done downloading, just click on this tab. And the installation will pop up. Now make sure that you have this checked at Python 3.8 to path because this will allow us to just go ahead and type py from the terminal and we will need that. So when you are installing it, make sure that this is selected. Now let's select the install now and this will pop up an agreement. We say yes and the installation process takes place. Depending on the computer will take a few minutes. Nothing especially being installed here, it's just Python. Um, I will show you how we can check if this has been installed successfully. Let's give it a few more seconds. All right, so the setup was successful. We can close this window and in the terminal, now we can type py and then we have Python 382 installed in our computers. Let's just exit that and clear it. So Python is set up, now we need to install MongoDB. Before you even go to MongoDB, I strongly suggest that you do this. Go to your C drive, and inside your C drive, create a new folder, call it data, and inside the data folder, create an inner folder, and call it DB. This is the default place where MongoDB will set up your database. Obviously, you can change it at some point using a command that is a flag that is dash dash db path. But if you do this, create the data folder with the db folder in it, MongoDB will set up your database inside this db folder. So that's set up now. Let's go to Mongo. And the way you can check if Mongo is installed, I will just select the right click on the bar here and choose task manager and inside the task manager you can go to services just clicking one of these services just one click so you put the focus on this window and press the letter M and you can see that I do not have Mongo running in my computer or else I will see a service called MongoDB popping up here so we just minimize this window I will go ahead and download MongoDB the link that you want to choose is not this one, that is for an ad. It will take you to a different link. Even though it says here mongodb.com, it takes you somewhere else. So what you do is you select this one, mongodb.com. If you look at the bottom bar here, it says mongodb.com. Go to software, community server. I'm going to select the current version for Windows and this MSI is the package that will install everything that I need in my computer. Click download, it will take a few seconds to download. Now I don't want to pause the video here because I might get into some windows in between so I need to show you the whole thing just in case that I skip something while I'm recording. maybe takes a couple of minutes in your machines to download. This is almost done and now I will just click on this icon here, this button, and this will start the installation of Mongo in my computer. I will select next, agreement yes, check it, next, do a complete installation and don't touch anything there. Everything is done for you by default. So just say next. And we're going to install MongoDB Compass. Leave it checked. This will allow us to have a user interface so we can interact with the database. 
We're not going to use this heavily in these tutorials, but leave it there. Next. Install. And this will take some minutes. I get this. We say yes. While we're waiting, please guys, don't forget to subscribe and get notifications. This is just one video of a series of videos. And besides, when you subscribe, what is important is not that you just watch these videos, but as soon as there's an update for Mongo or for Python with Flask, I will keep you updated. So you have subscribed, you get your notifications, I will always check weekly, basically check for updates and then I will make new videos. So you are always up to date with security patches and with information about information about the technology we're using. So this will take a few minutes. I will pause the video now because maybe it's too long and then I will tell you what has happened in between. So this pops up right away. Mongo has been installing. I haven't clicked on anything in between. Compass is installing as well. Compass is running automatically. And it says that it has completed setting it up. All right. If in between you got a window that you have to click yes, I guess you should just click on it. I didn't get anything in between this installation. I wish say finish now. And Compass is running. If you didn't get Compass running automatically, you can just go to the window search and search for Compass. When you click on this button, you will get to this window here. So let's check if everything is running fine. We should be able to connect to the database. And now we have these three data databases created for us. Don't ever touch them. Those are the default for Mongo. If we look at the task manager, right click task manager. Now you can see that MongoDB is running as a service in my machine. And that means that every time we restart the computer, Mongo will be running automatically the server. And that's pretty good. That's exactly what we needed. We don't need Mongo anymore. So we can just minimize it and let me just check if we need anything else. That's everything we need for the setup of the system. Besides all that, please make sure that you have Visual Studio Code. And in the next video, I will show you how we can create a document inside our database. We will also be building the database in the next video. Thank you.